For the AEB tests, autonomous emergency braking, where the target is stationary, we can use one RT in our hunter vehicle and survey the precise point of our soft target position to one centimetre accuracy. The test requires us to drive the hunter vehicle at a specific precise speed and capture when the autonomous braking alert came on and what our stopping or finishing point was for the vehicle. We're calculating those to one centimetre accuracy and we get a time to collision value that we can put in our test report afterwards. Our hunter vehicle sets off and drives at a specified speed according to the protocol. The AEB test will require you to calculate an offset between the lateral range between the hunter vehicle and the stationary target. Longitudinal range between the vehicles at the end of the manoeuvre, i.e. the finish position, is a really important data point to validate the AEB system. And also the time to collision value as the vehicle spots the target, starts the braking manoeuvre and finishes the manoeuvre is another important point here in this test. Out on the test track, ADAS engineers will run through this test multiple times, capturing a number of different samples of data to get the averaged performance of the AEB system. In real time, the driver can monitor a number of key data points to make sure that the system is performing accurately. But it's back in the office where the real data scrutiny takes place. The team back in the office want to know at what precise time did the alert for forward collision warning come on and what was the position and time to collision of the vehicle in regards to the obstruction that it was driving towards. And then how did the vehicle perform during a follow-up manoeuvre, like a braking manoeuvre or steering away from that object. Because we're logging GPS time, we can synchronise that to data that was logged on the CAN bus on the alert that comes on for forward collision warning. The data that's been logged by the OXS systems back in the office for further evaluation is flexible enough so that if there was a configuration error made at the start on the test track and that you would think had resulted in poor data, you don't need to go back and reconfigure that vehicle if you find a problem in the office, which is a massive time saver for those of you under pressure to get test results in by a certain deadline. The accuracy of OXTS systems and that flexible approach to logging the data is one of the reasons our systems have been trusted by automotive engineers for such a long time for forward collision warning testing.